Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 23rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and last week was a quite chaotic. So it did start to fall quite aggressively down towards the 50 moving average and bounce. So we are just doing the same thing all over again in the S&P 500 and basically most of the other indices as well, uh, except for the Chinese uh, indices. The 50 moving average is offering a massive amount of support. And every time we get close to that, it basically bounces. Same goes for the 20 exponential moving average. And therefore, I think that we are going to go and test 4,500 at this point as we bounce off the 50 moving average. If we were to break below the 50 moving average, then we are looking at the 4,250 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average down here at 4,000. Taking indicators, they're still fairly bearish after this massive fall here, but this break above the middle of the bullish band, that is quite encouraging that we may go at least towards the top or towards the very highest here, 4,500. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar here. We did find massive support down at the 50 moving average, and now it looks like we're heading back towards the very highs here of the 35,500 or 600, give or take. Technical indicators are still fairly bearish. If we were to uh, turn around here, 50 moving average most, will most likely still continue to offer massive amount of support. When taking into consideration uh, the enormous amount of bad news that has uh, been um, basically in the headlines constantly about Fed intervening in the market and inflation and so on, it kind of looks like if that were if the market was going to react quite aggressively to that negative news, it will fall fairly uh, a lot more than down towards the 50 moving average. We would look probably see something drop towards the 200 moving average down here at 32,000. But the market is just it's pulling back towards support at the 50 moving average, and then people are starting to buy in at those levels. At this point. Next target looks like 35,500 or 600, give or take. So MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is even more bullish than the other two indices. Uh, fell quite aggressively towards the 50 moving average. Everybody was talking about this was going to be the end of the world. Uh, markets were going to co collapse. No, they did not collapse. And, um, and um, they are actually very solid right here. If we were to break below the 50 moving average, yes, we could see this market drop towards uh, 13, uh, 14,000 or probably towards the 200 moving average at the 13,500. But that's probably as far as this market will go. As long as U.S. is uh, pumping um, physical uh, stimulus into the market and the uh, Fed is, uh, it has its expansionary monetary policy, uh, there is very little chance that the markets will fall apart. And if they were to fall apart, we would. there's nothing else they can do. So they're basically putting their uh, feet on the, pedal, uh, on, the, on the throttle at the moment. And if that doesn't work then they don't have any other tools in the toolbox. Then there will be no recovery. It will basically, the market will fall apart. And therefore, I don't really see that the market will collapse anytime. So we may see something like this drops off uh, 10, 12%. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that in September as we saw last September. But uh, falling apart like this, that only happens once every 100 years. So at this point, it's more likely that if we want to pull back, then the 20 exponential down here at 15,000, that should be um, supportive. Same goes for the 50 moving average at 14,700. That should also be a massive amount of support. To the upside, it looks like we are going towards 15,500 and then 16,000. German DAX. So German DAX has also found support at the 50 moving average. 
a massive rally on Friday after hitting the 50 moving average. So we tested it twice, and that's a fairly good sign. I kind of wouldn't be so I'm not as bullish for German DAX as I asked for am for the US indices, uh, mainly to the fact that we are mostly going to have a crossing of the MACD and the signal line here. And we could see this pull back towards the bottom of the bullish band, roughly 15,450, give or take, in worst case scenario down towards 15,000 and then continue. So this has basically been in this range here. We did go a little bit higher and then got rejected, but around 15,000 up towards 15,800, we have been here for quite some time. And I wouldn't be surprised if we fell back towards 15,000 before continuing higher as this kind of looks more bearish than the US indices. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So UK FTSE um, had a very bad day on Wednesday and on Thursday and then rallied a little bit on, on Friday, but we did not break above the 20 exponential and kind of same here as for the uh, German DAX. This has already crossed the signal line and we may see this you know, fall back towards the bottom here before going higher. It has also just gone sideways, did fall significantly outside of the bullish band here. So roughly down towards 7,000, that is probably uh, where we'll find the bottom of this market up towards the 7,200, 250. That's where this market has been, been trending at for the last few months. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at China 50. Yes, so there kind of looks like an end in sight at this point. So we did have a rally here up towards the 15, 20 exponential. And last time we did that, we fell apart and fell apart and fell apart. And now we kind of made this a triple bottom here. If we don't fall below this, which is roughly 14,583, then we may see this stabilize here. And that would be very good for this market. Most Chinese stocks, major tech stocks, are apps that have been falling off a cliff and are significantly oversold at this point. Not just significantly, but really significantly oversold. They're, they're really, really cheap. So... At some point, people will start to make notice of that and they will start buying because Alibaba, most of those companies, they are not going anywhere. And um, they will also see this market as, um, as uh, being significantly oversold, which, is, which it is almost at this point. It's at 35 at this point, um, getting to oversold conditions. So we may see this pull back all the way down to 14,500, give or take. And then if we see a stabilization here, then we probably could see this market turn around. Otherwise, if we drop below this, then we can go significantly further. 12,500, that is also possible. MACD is crossing the signal line, not a good sign, but we did have a fairly big, a big pullback at the end of Friday's session. So you'll see basically what happens, but, uh, but the people are spooked by the Chinese market and... Um, even though those companies are very profitable and um, and there is a massive market over there, there should be potential for them uh, to grow even further. So I'm just waiting for buyers to come back in because this is getting really dead cheap. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support your channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.